Hi there, and welcome to our lesson for today, which is going to be exploring the word, standard, and expanded form. We're going to be looking at numbers from 100th clear up to 100,000. That's our full objective for today, and before we get started on it, we need to take a quick review on place value. Before we learn what the three forms are and how to use them, that's real important because if you don't understand place value, then you won't be able to answer questions about word, standard, and expanded form correctly. One quick example would be right here on this skee-ball machine. You see, if you're the person in the middle, you wouldn't say, I scored two zero zero points. You'd say, I scored 200. And if the person on the right said, I scored one four zero points, then everyone's going to look at them like they're some kind of giant goober, and no one wants to look like a giant goober, so saying I scored 140 points is going to make a whole lot more sense. All right, our first number for today is 561, and let's go ahead and take a look at the basic place value here. If we start over here on the far right, we are in the ones spot, and the number that we find in the ones spot is the number one. Over in the tens spot, right in the middle, next door, we find the number six, and finally we have the hundreds spot where we find the number five. If we put it all together, we have the number 561. Next up, let's throw in a decimal point. So starting once again in the ones spot, which is to the left of the decimal point, we find the number four. Now, very key point here. We get to the decimal point right in the middle, and any time you get to a decimal point, you have to say the word and. And this is the only time that you say the word and in a math word. The decimal point, that's it. Very common mistake. People say and all over the place, just for the decimal point. Finally, over here on the right, we have the number five, and the five is in the tenths spot. Notice the th sound on the end, five tenths. It's got a real spitting sound on the end of it, but please don't spit on anybody that's sitting close to you. It's not very sanitary, and it's not a good way to make friends. Four and five tenths. Let's stick with a very similar number to that, but we're going to go ahead and tack an eight onto the end. So we've still got the four in the ones spot. We still have the decimal point, which we say what for? And, that's right. Then we've got the five in the tenths spot. And finally, there's an eight sitting over here in the hundredths spot. The eight is in the hundredths spot. Four and fifty-eight hundredths. Now here we've got ourselves a big old number and sometimes students see a number this size and they just simply freak out. They say, oh no, that's a huge number, woe is me, let's just give up and go home and play video games and never do math again and flunk out of school and live out the rest of our lives as hobos on a street corner somewhere. Well, I've got good news for you. Not only do you not have to become a hobo, but seeing numbers like this, to say them, it's real easy. you just got to go ahead and break it down a little bit. Let's start off with this. Yeah, it's on the left of a giant number, but what if I go ahead and do a little magic trick and take away what's to the right of it? But you can say that number, can't you? That's 561. Okay, 561. Let's bring back the rest. Next up, we've got a comma, and for this particular comma that's right here, the first comma that we always find on the left of the decimal point, that comma, every time, all you got to say for is the word thousand. And then we've got this number. I know it's sandwiched in between a lot of other stuff. Let me get rid of that for you and make your life easier. 705, right? Well, you know how to say 705. Okay, we'll bring back everything else. Decimal point. You remember what to say there, right? For that decimal point, for any decimal point, we always say the word and. Finally, we've got, oh, what is it? To get rid of the other distractions, it's just 83. 83 what? Well, let's see. It's not in the tenth spot. It's over in the hundredth spot. 83 hundredths. All together, we got our 561, thousand, 705, and 83 hundredths. Okay, so now that we've done our review of place value, what exactly are word, standard, and expanded form? Well, word form, believe it or not, is just that easy. It's just words. Here's some examples. We've got six, we've got 32, we've got three tenths, we've got 2015, Notice there weren't any actual numbers written out there. They were the word version of the numbers. Word form. Standard form is just a real fancy way to say number form, because that's all it is. It's just numbers. 
in expanded form. Expanded form is when you take a number and you just stretch it out. So if we got 346, we stretch it into its different place values, like the 100 spot, 346 is worth 300, the 10 spot, 40, and the 1 spot, 6. 300 plus 40 plus 6. Check out the second one. I won't read it all to you, but you can see it's got a decimal in there, right? If I look down on the very far end, there's a 0 decimal point 1. We just broke it out into the tenth spot. Stretch it out. All right, let's start with word form and do a couple sample problems. First one, how do you write 8,205 in word form? Well, we're going to start with the 8. Go ahead and write it down. It's word form, so we actually use the word 8 and write it out. We come to the comma. Every time for that comma, it's always the word thousand. Spell it out. Next, we got a 2. No problem there. It's in the 100 spot, so we go ahead and write in a 100. Look at this in the 10 spot. We got a 0. What do we write for that? Well, let's see. 0 is worth nothing, right? So let's just not write anything. It's not worth anything. Don't put anything. Over in the 1 spot, we find the word 5. Put it down. We don't want to write 5 1s, though. Just 5 is good enough. You wouldn't want to say 8,205 ones, so just 8,205. Done. Word problem number two. How do you write 129,084 and 5 tenths in word form? Now let's take a look at the beginning. It's a pretty big number, but no need to freak out, right? Just go ahead and break it down. Get rid of the other stuff. All we got there is 129. Well, you can write 129 in words. Okay, bring back some of the other items, and next we've got that comma, and that first comma to the left of the decimal point, the word we always say is thousand. Put it down. Then we see a, hmm, uh, let's get rid of this, some of the other stuff, make it a little easier to look at. There we go. A 084, we wouldn't want to say 084, just say 84, the zero's not worth anything. 84. Bring in the rest, and there's that decimal point, always the word and, write down and. And finally, five, but where's five at? It's in the which spot? Ah, the tenths spot. Notice the T-H-S, tenths. Okay, standard form. Once again, it's just number form. Very fancy way to say it. All we're going to write here is some numbers. Let's look at a couple problems. The first one. How do you write 6,209 in standard form? So how do we take that and put it into numbers? We'll start with a 6. Piece of cake. 1,000. Well, that's our comma, right? We talked about that. Then we got, hmm, three more blanks, right? Because there's the 1 spot, the 10 spot, the 100 spot. I'm just going to put three little blanks there and we'll fill them in. We got 200. We know which one of those is the 100 spot, right? Well, let's put a 2 in it. And then we've got 9. Oh, where's that 9 go? Does it go here? No, that'd make it 90, right? We don't want it there. How about, yeah, there. 9 goes in the 1 spot. And that leaves us with, uh, hmm, a blank? Well, what should we put there? How about we just leave it a question mark? That'd be good enough, right? Yeah, probably, probably not. How about maybe we should just throw some random math sign in there? Yeah, dollar sign. No, that's not going to get the job done. Maybe we should use a cute little puppy. Oh, look at him. and he's so cute? Yeah, probably not right, though. So there's nothing there. How about we just leave it as nothing? A zero is nothing. Put in the zero. Put them all together. 6,209. That's what we're looking for. Perfect. Next up. So let's take a look at sample problem number two for standard form. It says, how do you write 10,053 and 84 hundredths in standard form? All right, so to put that into numbers, we're going to take the word 10 and put a 10 down. That's a little bit tricky because it's a two-digit number, but just 10 and then 1,000 for our comma. Now after this, we know we've got three blanks coming, right? The hundredth spot, the hundred spot, the ten spot, and the one spot. So let's put them out there. Three blanks, and now let's start working to fill them in. We've got a fifty. Hmm, fifty definitely doesn't belong in the hundred spot, does it? It belongs right here in the ten spot. 
50, and I'm not going to put the 0 on the 50 because I see that we got a 3, right? 3 goes in the 1 spot, 53, and hmm, there's nothing for the 100 spot. Must be a 0 again, right? There's our 0, and, 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 there it is. And's always a decimal point. Decimal point, put it down. That leaves us with 84 hundredths. Well, 84 hundredths. There's a tenth spot. There's a hundredth spot. We must need two blanks. And we're going to go and put in the 80. We're going to put in the 4. 84 hundredths. Perfect. 10,053 and 84 hundredths. Expanded form. Remember, that's where we stretch out the number. Let's look at some sample problems. What is the expanded form for 61,593? Well, we've got 60,000. It's in the 10,000 spot, so we need to go ahead and put all our zeros in there to put it to the 10,000 spot. 60,000. Now we're going to put a plus sign, and then we're going to go to the 1,000 spot. I see a 1, so 1,000. Another plus sign. You've got to get these addition symbols in between each of your numbers. Next up, we've got a 5 in the 100 spot, so 5. Hundred. Then we're going to go ahead and add on a 9, which is in the 10 spot, which equals 90. And finally, there's a 3 that's just in the 1 spot, so just 3, no zeros. Let's try another one. Let's take a look at sample problem number 2. It says, what is the expanded form of 4,030 and 6 tenths? So first off, in the 1,000 spot, we have a 4, 4, thousand and next you know we're going to need our addition symbol right and we are going to put in a zero a zero is worth nothing should we write anything for it no nope, no need there's nothing there next up though we do have in the 10 spot a three and a three in the 10 spot is worth 30 so we better write down 30 check out what's next it's another zero that's not worth anything moving right along and finally here in the tenth spot we find a six, six tenths. Notice how we write that with a zero, decimal point, six, and that takes us to the end of our expanded form problem. Just a quick review, we've got three different types of form that we covered today. We've got word form, which is words, standard form, which are numbers, and expanded form, where we stretch things out. That brings us to the finish today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's performance. And if you need more help, please feel free to join us on www.mathforumonline.com.